Hey there, everybody. How's it going? So, uh, really uh, interesting development on the Pentax front. So, the K3 Mark III monochrome, the battery that came with the camera has decided to not charge. So, I'll put it in my uh, Hanel charger and pfft, it won't light up. The charger won't come on. Now, the charger works fine with the other batteries I've got. I've got three or four of them for the Pentax, but the new battery on the monochrome camera is not working. Uh, if that were only the least of my worries, that's not that big a deal. I mean, although it is 50, 60, 70 bucks for a DI, a lithium, whatever, 90 battery uh, for Pentax, but, um, but I can, I mean, that's not that big a deal. Um, it still should work, right? But the other big deal is that on the uh, Pentax K1 Mark II, I just got an RMA for that, and I just packaged it up, and it's ready to go back tomorrow. Um, it, it's not focusing. It stopped focusing. And I cleaned the contacts, whatever, but that's... I, something's really wrong with the camera because when I um, push the live view button... The uh, mirror goes up and the back screen goes black and then the camera bricks up. And the only way to get the camera working again is to open up the battery door, take the battery out, put it back in, turn it back on. And then, um, and then the mirror will drop down and the camera, I can see the screen again. But the focusing doesn't work and the live view, if I do it, it does it again. And I have to pull the battery out. So yeah, there's a catastrophic failure there and that, that has to go back. So. That's a defective camera, unfortunately. Um, really was enjoying the K3, K1 Mark II, and um, I really enjoy the uh, K3 Mark III monochrome. But now I'm kind of scared about Pentax's quality control because, um, you know, I've got a completely defective Pentax K1 Mark II, a brand new camera, and, um, and a bad battery. Added about, I mean, but you know, this is all coming out of the Vietnam factory, so maybe the quality control isn't so good. And what's really scary is that, let's say, a year down the line, you got a problem with your Pentax camera, I gotta send it back to Prestige. Um, and they're not the world's, they don't have the greatest reputation. I'll just put it to you that way. Um, I'm fairly confident if I send my Fuji's back to Fuji for a problem, it's not going to be cheap, but they'll fix the problem, okay, and without any. BS and Prestige, I've heard some real horror stories. So uh, that's where we're at. The K3 Mark III monochrome is still here, but the K1 is defective. So uh, that's not my fault. Um, as far as the K3 Mark III monochrome is concerned, you know, it is, you know, I'm, I'm reading a lot of comments on other videos and, and things like this about the K3 Mark III monochrome. And uh, one guy was uh, pontificating well, you know, with the backside illuminated uh, new sensors and, uh, and uh, the post-processing uh, AI and all the rest of it, you know, you don't really need a monochrome sensor. Well, obviously, you've never shot a monochrome sensor because uh, if that's what you think, you're completely wrong. It's, uh, it's, now, I'm not sure I really need it either, but uh, not for those reasons. It is something different. It is a different animal. There's no question about it. I mean, when you take a photograph at like uh, 25,000 ISO and it's pin sharp with no noise, that is not a bare sensor. That is not a color sensor. That is not an X-Trans sensor with a, with a monochrome conversion. Like there is something different going on there. And, um, you know, I boy, I hope Pentax... Um, spurs like Fuji into making a monochrome sensor camera. That would be cool. Uh, I, I would buy it. There's no question about it. Um, as far as the K3, K3 Mark III monochrome is concerned, well, I don't know. I mean, it's still here, but and I still want to uh, do some more uh, testing and stuff. I'll tell you right now, I love the monochrome sensor. Just not sure I'm that crazy about it being in a Pentax at this point. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, you know, fool me once, right? Fool me twice, it's my fault, right? So, um, yeah, two for two, and that's not a uh, good batting average. So, um, yeah, the, the, the battery thing's not that big a deal, like I said, but the catastrophic failure on a three-week-old K1, 
that's not so good. So that's that's really scary. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm going to keep playing with the K3 Mark III monochrome. I'm really loving the sensor. Um, I really don't want to send it back, but um, but on the other hand, I'm not really sure that it's uh, some, another project that I need uh, to um, screw around with. So like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you out there. Have a great one.